century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am the 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate. We are the children of the sun. I can see you when I look into your eyes. We are the same, and we are light, and we are one. Hear now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along. We are awakening as one. And we can make difference yeah we can be the change it takes to make the world a lot more fun well if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are oh now child please don't frown you can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far First century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Hi there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of the 21st Century Superhuman book series, and I'm here today with Timothy Telemond. Tim, how are you today? Good, Carrie. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, we uh, were just talking about how we've known each other for about seven years, right? Yeah, uh, we had been uh, introduced by a mutual, a mutual friend that um, had started taking the uh, Thunder God line um, that um, I was, uh, I believe, the, one of the first, if not the first, to import into the country. And then you start, she, she was actually saying to you, you know, how wonderful it was. And then you immediately, you know, without wasting any time, contacted me. I, we did a show early on, so that was now seven years ago. So time flies, you know. Yeah, I'll say. Wow, well, you started working with Thunder God Vine, and um, what was your reason for doing that? The initial, the initial thing was just literally survival. Uh, I had a lot of stress uh, between my 30s and my 40s. I really started to notice a lot of different aches, pains, stiffnesses. Uh, my blood sugar kept getting worse and worse and worse to where I was diabetic. Wow. And then um, I had gotten a simple scratch in my eye. But when they put the hematropine in it, which is a dilator, because I had actually had an infection in my eye. So when they dilated it, it went to the back of the eye. And then I had what they call anterior uveitis. So now a simple surface scratch on the front of the eye was a tremendously serious infection on the back of the eye. My wow. hand started to shake like I had Parkinson's because it was connect that's connected to old nerve OLE nerve which is connected directly to the brain and everything changed i mean i knew everything changed i i knew in, inherently that i didn't have long to live wow. um everything everything changed uh, i started basically selling things and starting up a charity called pureeveryone.org that charity um, i just felt like i got like a whisper from god like i was supposed to do something before i go because i at that point i was pretty sure i was go you know Wow. Um, so and I was that maybe 10 years, 10 years ago, Tim, about? About 10 years ago. Anyway, to start that, I had to do research on the root cause of all diseases. Because the idea was instead of doing a breast cancer fund or a heart fund or a pediatric fund one by disease. looking at the roots of all the diseases. And that is a lot of work because now you got to look at every single disease and you got to try to look at the root causes, which, you know, you can get to it. Right. So it ended up basically being about 25 different uh, bacteria, molds, and viruses. Actually, I no longer believe it, believe in viruses. I believe, believe that they're basically an immune response to bacteria, molds, and parasites. But, Very um, good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, because and you don't you can't pick up a viral reading until after you've had after you've been infected for a while because it takes time to generate that immune response. You know. Interesting. Very cool. Um, and. The, and if they allowed you to measure the actual root cause on any of these blood tests, then you would know that if I ate this here, a little, little guy, and I started getting a better blood work, well, you'd be able to put two and two together real quick. And right. it's very hard to get an actual bacterial, even disease correlation, like which bacteria cause which, cause which diseases, which, which um, 
molds cause uh, cause witch diseases, which parasites cause. You know, there, it's there, there. It, it's there, but it's blurred. But I, doing that charity work or st just the just the website work, which the programmer lost the information three times, so I had to keep re you know, redoing the research and get. It was really a benefit to me because I got more astute, more astute, more astute. Um, and I, I was formerly a medical device researcher and I had oh, patents wow. and I know how to research topics. I just basically, you know, turned my hat around to look at, I got a life or death research project here, you know, <laughs> and you'd be surprised what you could read in one day when your life's on the line. Um, what I learned and what I documented was a giant disease tree with all the diseases and then the most common bacterial and yeah. mold and, um, parasitical roots that became very interesting to me because now i'm looking at basically 25 today maybe it's you know more than that because so if you if, if you read about something that says myo in front of it some textbooks will classify that myo as a mold or some will classify it as a bacteria but all will say it doesn't have a cell wall okay uh, which typically things without cell wall are classified as molds okay so i'm not really sure why they're even confusing the bacteria issue with the myoplasmas, but some textbooks are. So let's just say for this conversation, they're all molds, you know, when they're myos, okay? And so you, now you have those added to the mix, okay? Which is why um, I started learning that Thunder God Vine alone now wasn't enough because now we have things that are um, literally designed to get around everything, you right. know? So how do you handle that? Right. Um, and that's what the show is about because this is basically Thunder God, Thunder God Vine you know, going wild, let's just say, you know, next right. generation, you know, I'm just trying to give yeah. people ways to remember it. Um, let's just do a little quick review on where Thunder okay. God Vine grows, how it's been, the countries have been sprayed to kind of destroy it. Here's the thing. Um, if you look at Vietnam, no country was bombed more than Vietnam. Okay. Right. I mean, you could look at all World War II, you could take all the other wars combined and nobody was bombed more than, more than Vietnam. So why were they trying to kill all this vegetation? And that was Agent well, Orange, right? Right, right. And uh, and then if you really research Agent, Agent Orange, it decreases your ability to, to combat Epstein's bar, okay? So now if you really look at uh, Agent Orange at another level, um, it decreases your ability, the plant's ability that's growing because now the soil's been infected, okay? So what's not burned, even if it's not burned, is a soil now, in essence, burned. And then why is it to this day that I can't or no one can buy Thunder God Vine from a cultivator in Vietnam or Korea? Okay, well, because the soil's been adulterated. So now where does it come from? Well, uh, most of it's grown in Malaysia. Okay, so I think if you look at Pol Pot, who was basically trying to kill millions and millions of people even after the war. I mean, that's basically the path to Malaysia. But I think that somebody actually was strong enough, wise enough and good hearted enough and looking forward enough to actually save the vine, so to speak. And I think that it got smuggled through Pol Pot and his assassins and somehow they saved this, this vine. OK, but I think the objective was to get rid of it altogether. And that's a big objective. I mean, they literally almost succeeded i believe okay because it's very regenerative so, to humans right well i mean that's what i personally believe because because what other reason would they have killed women and children at the melee event the melee massacre and you know if you read about the details of the melee massacre what you'll read is that there were no old people at all okay now carrie you've been taking this product for the past seven years Right. And you look more girlish than than 70 ish. You know, am, am yeah. I allowed to say your age? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't. But, uh, you know, I mean, who cares if, it's, if, if, you, if, you, if you don't look, uh, you right. know, anything like that number? Yeah. Um, so, so now imagine that you're a young person being born into a village that has this as part of their diet every day. And they never even, they never even, generate these bad bacteria and molds in their system and they don't age they, they basically stay at 30 okay and 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 hit that 30 age really slowly as far as you know the growing up looking older so they all look very young and all the officers and all the people that were there 
said that there were no old people in this town. So anyway, after I looked into the melee massacre, I started looking at to what's I started looking into what's going on with Afghanistan. Yeah. To see if you know it's even bigger than I'm thinking now. Um at that I mean at that time. And so there was a road called the um Taxol Road because uh Taxol was a patent that was about to expire at the beginning of the Afghan war. Uh, what they did was they did the same thing they did in Vietnam and they bombed all the trees and they took out the road at the same time that the, pa the Taxol patent expired. Wow. So Taxol was a wonderful drug. It was a cancer drug, but it was never given to anybody. Okay. It was basically a Thunder God Vine product. Okay. Wow. Uh, and it was never, it was ne nobody ever heard of it. Nobody ever was given it. It's just this wonderful thing that stayed on the shelf until the patent expired. And then they blew up the source. Yeah. Now it wasn't exactly Thunder God Vine, but it was from the Hugh Tree, which is a, a direct in the direct lineage of the Thunder God Vine. Wow. And so in this case in Afghanistan, you would take the bark, which was really nice because you didn't even have to kill the tree. Okay. Wow. So it was all bark and uh and it was just this ongoing, you know, beautiful, you know, supply chain that didn't even hurt the the, the trees, okay. Because uh, you didn't need that much, even to to for the whole world, and um, they they destroyed it all. Okay, mm -hmm. I even found that the huge tree in England, where they made the longbows that actually yeah. won most of the wars of the 14th century, right, are uh, direct lineage to Thunder God Vine. Wow. So it's just a strong, you know, it, it's the strongest terpenoid molecule. It's a th that's why I call it. Um, triptoli because it's a 30 length ter uh, terpenoid so it's a strong long molecule okay. I wonder if it but grows in Mexico I, I think that it can be grown um, I'd love to get some seeds and grow it down here well, so I mean you're probably in a much better physical location right. to try to find something like that if you do please you know, you know. let me know Yeah. because I mean I am building a greenhouse here um, mm -hmm. I would like to have it at least for personal. I mean, yeah, it would be nice to have it personally, and I'm sure a lot of other people would like to have that too. Tim, a question: Do the people use it raw in like the native lands where they grew I mean, it? I believe so. I, I believe that you know now that I've become more seasoned, I find that the plants that are really super good, like ginseng, for example, because ginseng, natural ginseng, grows right here where I am. I'm right. I'm off the tip of Lake Erie on the southern point uh, in Lower Appalachia, Ohio. Okay. And um, that Lake Erie is a, a one of the last straight polar lakes. Plants and vegetation that grow on those on those on those lines. So those those lines, right. and you see a lot of really tall, like the giant. The, the last known true giant uh, was born on this line, the Gentle Giant. I can't remember his first name, but that's that's what he they, he went by. I believe, but I'm not 100% certain that the first article that I read about Thunder God Vine. Uh, correcting uh, astrogyalysis, which but that's basically inflammation of the nervous system. Mm -hmm. And one of the first things I learned was that they did a study where they took the vine, uh, tryptorygium. Actually, I think they took triptolide, which is the primary component of tryptorygium, and they uh, g they gave it uh, to the, to the animal and they severed the spine. Okay, but they didn't just sever. I mean, they completely cut it in half. Okay, they didn't. They didn't save any, any, there wasn't one axon that wasn't severed. Okay. And it all grew back together. And that's never happened. Once somebody gets in an automobile accident, they're paralyzed for life. Right. If they got a complete severing of the spinal axion, even one, they're, they're not going to get, they're not going to get feeling or anything that that, that axon was, was responsible for and, and the whole entire body. Well, in this case, it's incredible. It's an incredible thing. Reeves was funding, but not getting the information back from uh, the funding okay i thought to myself well you know maybe maybe chris isn't digging into some of these articles uh -huh. you know so then i i at that point christopher reeves had passed away where i'm like very naive at this point i'm just <laughs> i'm just telling wow. everybody <laughs> you know i'm thinking the whole world's just gonna light up and say hey this is great we're all gonna right. get better it's gonna be right. happy, you know, hunky yeah. dory you know I hear a it. wonderful so. package of thunder god vine that i get from you and we take it every day but you eventually transition from just thunder god vine to your 28 herbs combination and i'd like to hear kind of what trail you went on to do that 
Yeah, it's 29 uh, plant, uh, herbs. Okay, so all of my issues healed. Um, my, my eye, obviously, I'm, is fine. You know, it's, it's, right. it's not lazy. It's not disconnected. You know, I, I never got an anterior. I never got the retinal detachment, my, my arthritis, my diabetes, my limes. Um, you know, I don't have perfect hair, but, you know, I have my hair, a lot more hair than I had when I started the project. Um, anyway, I was fine. I was restored. And I wasn't really worried about that because I said, you know, eventually somebody's going to, it's going to click somebody eventually to, you know, somebody that has that platform that could get this information to the masses. That's where I was. And then my father got sick. Now my father had originally had lung cancer and we gave him thunder God vine and, it, and he did great for six years. Okay. Um, and, um, he was, so, he, he was only given a few months to live and he lived six years and, um, everything was fine. There's an immunity, there's immunity to lower it, you know? And so how's that? Why is that happening? Are they disabling plants? So they're trying to create antibiotic resistance to plants, which has never happened before. You get antibiotic resistance to antibiotics, but plants are antibiotics themselves. They, they you could just take them forever. People don't realize that there isn't a plant on the planet that doesn't have some sort of antibacterial, anti-mold and antimicrobial properties. Otherwise, all the plants would be eaten up by mold bacteria and, 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 and parasites. Okay. So, that, and, and they're all made to integrate with us and they all do it in a different way. So if you take, and they're all made to integrate with you, even simultaneously for, for, you know, the ultimate defense, which is why I call the product defense. Okay. Right. Um, so here he still, I came, I, I, I came to him and I said, you know, dad, let me try to help you. And he, he, he just barked at me. You don't understand. You can't do anything about this. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So my hands were tied, very frustrated. So um, I said, okay, well, he doesn't have to know that I'm working on this. So I started working on the defense plus. Right. I was already working on it. I was already working. I, I started working on it harder and wow. I got a leg up. I, I work with contract manufacturers. The one, and the one that I uh, am endeared to basically claims to be one of the top 10 in the world. I really like the people. I, I got a leg up from my supply chain. And they said, Tim, you might not be aware of it, but there's uh, a four herbal combination that a lot of countries are signing up for, giving this to uh, people of all ages. They're, 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 they're even giving it intravenously and it's having miraculous results. And, you know, we know that you have a situation and we want to try to help you. So you might, you might want to consider, you know, adding these four plants to your product. And I also had done a lot of research on myoplasmas to learn that it's in the soil. I mean, the cicadas were, couldn't reproduce because their abdomens were filled with mold, right? The cicadas that come out every seven years, the, they call them locusts, seven-year locusts. You didn't see many this year, you know, because the, the, the soil is infected with these molds. The leaf hoppers infected with these molds. That means the corn's infected with these molds. It means the wine and the beer are infected with these molds and the wheat, okay? Beer and the wheat are together. And everything in between. So I said to the, you know, uh, my people, I'm like, well, this is wonderful because we're basically, I, I was already adding individual plants that were known to fight the myoplasmas into my product. And then here we are with a, a, a four herb combination that's been um, endorsed by literally countries. Okay. And, and not known, uh, but largely at all in the United States. Okay. So I said, I said, well, this is, this is wonderful. I mean, not only is it a no brainer, this is what I've been looking for. Okay. Uh, this is a gift, you know, this is a um, gift. So that's why it went from flawless defense to flawless defense plus. Okay. Because of that gift. Okay. So the product itself has been, has been just so much more than just Thunder God Vine by itself. Um, like uh, my, my skin is, 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 isn't veiny and, it's more like, you know, I don't have the veins in my arm, in my hands anymore. And I'm 56, but, I, you know, so my skin is physically thicker, you know. Um, I, uh, I, my facial structure, I feel like I'm getting, you know, my cheekbones back, you know, and, and uh, things that are, you normally, you know, fall with aging. And, um, and, and strength wise, I feel, you know, um, like every month that I'm on it, I feel just a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. Um, so I, I've given it to other people. I, I've, I've given it to, uh, you know, not just your, I mean, obviously, you, I mean, I know you've been 
taking it. I know you look wonderful, but I gave it to this gentleman. Um, it was just by chance meeting. Um, I had locked my keys in my car at, on a Sunday and I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, I'm not a friend of some, a stranger said, you know, Hey, you know, I'll help you. I have a clothes hanger, you know? And, well, so I opened the car door and I look at him and I, and he's bandaged from his, from his elbow to his arm. And, and it's, and it looked like Popeye arms, like blowing up like this big. And I'm like, well, for help me out here, here's a bag. And I just gave it to him, you know? And I didn't, I didn't see her, this person. And then one day, like, you know, a month and a half later, I'm checking out of a restaurant. I mean, a, a gas station nearby. And this stranger, cause I didn't even recognize. He's like, that stuff is strong. He goes, I can't believe it. he goes, I goes, I, I didn't know what was going to happen to me because it was all getting infected, you know, and, and more inflamed. And he's like, it all shrunk down and it's healed. He had like a little bandage, like right in the middle, a little, little area, and that was all that was left, but everything came down. The swelling came down. And he's like, you know, he said, it's so funny because I came there to help you. And then you ended up turning or flipping it around and helping me. I'm like, well, that's how it's supposed to work. I think, you know? Right. So that was just a great story. You know, I love that story. So my job is basically, you know, try to let people know what's going on. So like with an antibiotic, where like somebody, somebody give me an antibiotic and you'll feel, you'll feel good as you're walking out of the office, you know, but here's the issue. If I'm, if I'm a damaged cell and I need a certain thing to repair and I'm calling for an immune response. Okay. And I want to get a very specific immune response. Well, plants are really set up to work that way. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Whereas, and I'll make it a general statement, so. 21st century superhuman, your, your company, because I want to basically, you know, pay it forward. You know, I mean, you've done a lot to help me sent over the past seven years. We've done not just one show, but multiple shows. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, I am optimistic that at some point, one of these shows is going to basically break through the roof, you know? So I, I basically this time made a page for your clientele to go to. So it's basically flawlessherbs.com forward slash 21, the 21st century. Okay. Oh. And on that, um, I was just speaking with, you know, somebody near to me. And they were like, you know, you should also have the ability to reorder uh, automatically, like a, uh, like a subscription. So on your page, uh, people will be able to subscribe so they don't have to do it every month. Do the research, okay? I consider plants and natural approaches to be very slow, but very precise, like laser guided, okay? So, and I would have, I would rather build up a slow, precise proper immune response over time, knowing that each precise mo movement is going to create a long-term T cell that I'm going to carry with me for the next 10, 12, 13 years. Nice. Okay. Now I might only build up a few per day, but as I build them up, I have now a bigger arsenal and that arsenal is going to grow exponentially because it's going to continue to kill the bad guys. And as it kills them, there's something called helper T cells that feed that information back. So now this area of good guys keeps growing, killing more, feeding back more. So now you can see how that immune response plant-wise starts real slow, meaning you might not feel any different in the beginning because it's slow. But you can see where, based on the design of our creator, how it's designed to ramp up, okay? okay. And also, I believe, I, I can't prove this because the studies, if they exist, I'm not sure where they are because a lot, very seldom you'll see a long-term study on a plant regimen at uh, a solid amount, let's just say, of the proper items, okay? Um, but I would wager, I would wager that you would be seeing some very miraculous things around the ninth month, which is basically a birthing cycle, okay? Mm -hmm. And even longer term after that. Yeah, as far as, you know, growing up, um, I, I don't think I ever mentioned to you to th this to you, but um, I actually had a little seed delivery business where I would deliver seeds to old, old uh, 
mostly older people that, you know, had time to plant gardens. And my friends in high school would make fun of me and say, you know, oh, Timmy Seed Company, you know, and they would just say it in a derogatory way. And I would literally get into fistfights, you know, over my <laughs> wow. seed company. And it was routine. So anyway, as far as the product um, and summarizing, um, I've seen so many people benefit from so many down and out type situations and get their lives back. Um, I, I wish that I had finished the product uh, sooner for my own family, but as far as our global family of friends and you know you and your network and everybody we can reach out to, um, I think we have something that's unique. Everything in the product is water-based. If you use water, you're going to pull that DNA sequence out more linearly and pull less. Whereas with alcohols, you might pull more, more of one protein than another. And that's, that's a problem. And studies, nobody actually, I don't think, uh, reads the study fine print. So somebody will do a study and say, okay, Thunder Vine did really well, and maybe this did really well in certain diseases. But if you don't read on how the Thunder God Vine was prepared for that study, okay, then you don't really know much because preparation is uh, just as important as, as the herbal selections. So um, I have gone, to, I mean, I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of research. I am studying to become a nutritional counselor under Angie and Nakayama. I passed my courses on immune gastrointestinal uh, leaky gut. I'm going to actually have my facility built. I'm going to actually be able to see, see people. Uh, this is my life. This is what I'm trying to accomplish as far as, um, you know, infrastructure for people to actually be able to access um, products that are just unique, um, processed in a way that all the studies with the best possible outcomes are processed as far as extraction processes. Um, I am using patents from different companies uh, that do my do my work under certain patents uh, to make sure that they're uh, at the level that I uh, deem fit for my pro products. So long story short, no chemicals in the Flawless Defense Plus except for water and the herbs. Finally granulated so that uh, product that, that is bioavailable. There's herbs in there such as Mangesca that are known to move lymphatic fluid. So if you're gonna do all these wonderful things, well, you know, great, let's get the lymphatic, you know, not saying you have to move and exercise, you know, but um, yeah. Um, and so there, there's, um, there's uh, different, different peels uh, in there, tangerine peel, sweet lime that actually is known to re remove heavy metals and, and, um, and typically radiations are bound to heavy metals, which is, which is also makes them, you know, uh, very efficient radiation removers in a lot of cases. So, uh, and then there's products that are known to fight the herpes viruses like um, berbine and uh, even Thunder God's bond has been studied for that as well in, 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 a, in a large way. Uh, so you really have, you know, the Thunder God, God vine product and then uh, of course, then the products, the, the plants that are known or researched to fight various myoplasmas. Um, and so all the research links are on page number two, which is Flawless Defense Plus uh, on the website. Um, and, you know, really a uh, powerhouse product, uh, I believe, um, uh, uniquely processed, clean. Um, uh, there's also herbs in there that actually how uh, 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 are I, I can't guarantee, but the studies show uh, help increase the bioabsorption of various herbs, which is wonderful. So now you think now you take something that's so synergistic, um, and so I love it. I love the product. I feel you know um, wealthy in my health. Um, yeah. If I'm taking Flawless Defense Plus. Um, do I take Thunder God Vine along with it? And I know you have a capsule form now. Um, is the Thunder God Vine in the, uh, the Defense Plus or do I take the Thunder God separate? And what is in the capsules? 
Thunder God Vine is in all the products. Okay. Okay. And I still sell Thunder God Vine separately. Uh, separately okay. Because that's how we started. Okay. But most of my most of my sales are from the more advanced products. Okay. The flawless, um, the flawless defense. The flawless defense plus is is uh, and 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 the capsules are more uh, where I see people gravitating to. Uh huh. And um, and it's really not that much more than the than the Thunder God Vine, but then you get all twenty eight plants plus the Thunder God Vine. But I but I do have people where they buy both and just you know combine them on their own. Right. You know? Um, like what you're doing, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so um, but most of the most of the trend I see going you know towards the more advanced products. Um, which is encouraging because it means that, you know, all that time and research, you know, that I spent uh, is, is showing, you know, and people really like that. Um, I, um, I'm getting, you know, not just people say that a lot of positive things are happening now right. and it's product driven, you know, so do, you, do, do you give it to your dog? That pro What's so do that? You, you give it to your dog? I have been, and uh -huh. and he's been doing wonderful. You want to uh, bring him over? I, and I didn't even... Oh, how cute! <laughs> his, what did you name is name Sunshine. him? What is it? His name is Sunshine. Sunshine. Oh, he's he's, he's so really cute. good, though. I mean, really good. I've been giving him the Thunder God Vine, and it doesn't seem like since I've been giving it to him that he's had that many ticks. Nice. I don't know if that's helping with the ticks or not because he was getting them like like crazy. Because you said a tick um, could die on you, right? It, it, I had that tick yeah. die on me, so I'm thinking maybe maybe it does something for that. I'm, right? I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'm just you know, like I said, there's no studies on any of these things. I'm just right. um, you know, overall, my dog's doing great. I feel great. You know, Good. you feel great, and a lot of other people. Yeah. So uh, you know, I don't. We leave it up to folks to try it yeah um and um i they can we make it easy if they want to try it for like a long term and then you know just get some automatic reorders yeah uh, and uh you know everything but the kitchen sink went into the development of these products for what right. you know um i mean yeah. just 100 percent, you know effort you have a beautiful so. life and uh thank you so much for being here with us today it's right. Awesome to see you in the gorgeous forest there. And you look so healthy and so vital. And I know your heart and soul are so committed to this, to wellness. Yeah. You've been able to recover your own wellness. You share this product so freely and kindly with people. And you've seen so many others recovering their health. So um, we obviously don't make any claims and we are here to explore what has God has given us in nature to harmonize our bodies um, with our best well-being. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you uh, as well, Carrie. Um, and um, I look forward to, you know, the future. Awesome. Where everything brings. Thank All you. All right. We'll talk soon. Adios. Adios. Bye. If you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are Whoa now child, please don't frown You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far I am a 21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside 21st century superhuman